Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I just got home from getting groceries. I went to Aldi, Kroger, and Publix today, and I thought that I would just do a little grocery haul for you. Um, I currently count calories. I don't go super strict with my like diet per se, um, but I do try to watch what I eat throughout the week. And then my husband is doing keto, and I would say loosely based because he's not super strict with the whole plan. Um, but he is primarily eating keto. Um, so we do eat pretty healthy throughout the week and I thought that I would just share with you what we're going to be having for the next two weeks. I wanna say I spent like under $200. I feel like my camera is like. So I think that I spent under $200 between the three places and this will get us through the next two weeks. Obviously some things I already have on hand that I need for meals. Um, but the meals that I'm planning on doing for the next two weeks are um, cheeseburger, like lettuce wraps with zucchini tots and a tomato cucumber salad. Um, and then I'm going to do this like chicken sausage and shrimp sheet pan dinner with veggies. I've made it, um, I've made it a lot actually because we've really been enjoying it. Um, but I will link to that video here because I did share that recipe with you guys and it's really yummy. Um, I will have mine with rice, Chris will not. Um, and then I'm going to be doing taco salads. Um, and I have spaghetti squash to do spaghetti with, with just like meat sauce and then a caprese salad to go with that. And then what else? Um, I have my list here. Okay. Um, oh, buffalo chicken foil packets. I think I've shared that with you guys before. I'm almost positive that I have, but those just have like broccoli and potatoes in them. Um, yeah, so that's five, five meals. So those should get us through the next two weeks because we do usually have leftovers. Um, and then like for lunches and stuff, I usually do some sort of lettuce wrap or a salad. Um, I think I'm gonna do quinoa burrito bowls. I haven't made them in a really long time and I used to eat those all the time and they've been sounding really, really yummy. So I'm just gonna quickly share with you guys what I got. Um, normally I lay everything out on the counter but I'm just like not even gonna mess with that. I just wanna like quickly get through this and get it all put away. So I'll start with Publix first and I just picked up some basil for the caprese salad. I have a big bag of cilantro that I'm gonna use for the taco salad. Um, I'm gonna make pico to go with that. I have two red potatoes. Those are gonna go in the buffalo chicken foil packets. Um, so Gunner and I will eat the potatoes in ours with the broccoli, and then I'll just double up the broccoli for Chris's packet since he can't have potatoes. And then I also, picked up these frozen popsicles. I've shared these with you guys before. Gunnar absolutely loves these. He calls them Olaf popsicles, um, but they're mini size, so they're like the perfect size for him, and he is obsessed with them. And then I did pick up a couple more good to grow juices. We got um, Groot and Rocket from Guardians of the Galaxy. Gunner is like so into Avengers, you guys. You guys know that. Um, and of course, these guys are part of that whole group as well. And we get these and then just reuse them over and over again. And the ones he has, he's had for quite a while. And some of them are starting to break. Like these are starting to fall apart because they're just cheap plastic, you know? Um, that is everything from Publix. So from Kroger, I just got some bread. This is just regular white bread. This Gunner will use this for sandwiches. And then I got a spaghetti squash, um, some strawberry applesauce. Um, normally he does the pouches, but he had these at school the other day and he did really well with them. So I thought that we would get some for here at home. I have the vanilla premier protein. This is what I put in my coffee for creamer. Um, some tomatillo salsa verde. This is going to be for some white chicken chili that Chris requests literally every single week, you guys. <laughs> you could live off of that stuff. Um, I also got the Chi Chi's restaurant style mild salsa. I thought this would be good for my burrito bowls. Um, normally I get either the Erdes or um, 
I really like the Aldi salsa, which I think I have some of that. But um, I thought that I would give this a try. It looked pretty good. And I used to love Chi Chi's as a kid. And then Chris wanted some Heinz 57 sauce. I'm not sure for what, but I got it. And then I got one, two, three, four, five, six things of tuna fish. This is just the chunk light tuna in water because Gunner eats it almost every single day. Um, and I like it as well. And then I also got Chris two things of smoked ham, which he likes to mix this with his eggs and eat it for breakfast um, because there's no carbs in these either. And then I got my ice cream, <laughs> so chocolate chip cookie dough and the chocolate cookie crumble. Those are my two favorites, as you guys know. I also got a thing of tomato paste. Okay, so from Aldi, I ended up getting a bag of limes because these are good with all of the like Mexican dishes that we're having. Um, and I also like it in my water. And then I got two things of chocolate pudding because Gunner has really been into pudding lately. Um, I picked up some more freezer gallon bags. I got the quart size. And then I also got some garbage bags. I really like these garbage bags. They smell really good. They smell like lavender, which I love. Um, <clears throat> Some more coffee. This is the medium roast coffee. I really love this coffee from Aldi. If I'm getting just like plain regular coffee. Some Dale's sauce. Um, I got two things of apple juice. Oh, I guess the other one's somewhere else. This is what I use for Gunner and then I just cut it heavily with water. And then crunchy peanut butter for Chris. And then just some marinara sauce for the spaghetti squash spaghetti. This is really good marinara sauce. I actually really like it. I Picked it up and tried it for the first time just like a couple weeks ago and it was really good. It has like a sweetness to it. Um, so it was yummy. I definitely knew that I wanted to get that again. I picked up some more of these chero cherry tomatoes because they are so yummy and sweet and Gunnar and I have really been, um, oh, there's a FedEx truck going by really slowly um but gunner and i've really been liking these just to snack on and eat with our lunches so i got another thing of those and then i got some broccoli for the buffalo chicken packets i also picked up some yellow zucchini or squash that's going to go in the chicken and shrimp um sheet pan dinner and then i got three things of zucchini so Part of them I'll use for the sheet pan dinner as well, and the other half I will use for the zucchini tacks. I picked up some green grapes, big head of lettuce for the burgers, and then I got some beef steak tomatoes, and then I got two things of strawberries. I got a bag of shredded taco style cheese. Um, Normally, I shred my own cheese, and you guys, if you've followed me for a little while, you know that. Um, but for the taco salads, because I can't do chips in them for Chris, I'm gonna do the little like cheese crisps where you just like fry up the cheese and um, just kind of chop them into little pieces. So they'll reenact chips in the salad and kind of give us that crunch factor that we are missing. Um, so I'm gonna do those with this. I thought that that would be really yummy. And then I got some lightly salted rice cakes. I was watching Ashley Whitlatch, I think is her name. I can't remember, she's new to YouTube. I think she has like maybe 60 or 70 subscribers, but I really like her channel. Um, so I was watching like, I was binging some of her videos the other day and she did a grocery haul and she mentioned rice cakes and I was like, oh my gosh, I haven't had rice cakes in forever. And I used to snack on these all the time. These are just a really good, easy, quick snack. Um, if you like, I like to do like a layer of cream cheese and some salsa on top or, um, avocado and salsa. They're really good. She said she does cream cheese with everything with the bagel seasoning, which I was like, duh, why didn't I think of that? That would be so good. So I may try that. Um, but either way I have salsa and avocado. So these will be a good little yummy and healthier snack option for me than grabbing chips like I normally do. 
I picked up a bunch of just black cheese. I have three sharp cheddars because we love it. We go through this stuff like crazy. And of course with Chris doing keto, this is something he snacks on a lot. I also have Monterey Jack and mozzarella. Um, the mozzarella will be for the spaghetti and then the Monterey Jack will be for the white chicken chili and just whatever else we want it for. I got some seasonings. I needed more onion powder and garlic powder. And then I have taco seasoning and the Italian dressing seasoning. This is what I use on that sheet pan dinner. I got a couple things of the Simply Nature organic shells and white cheddar cheese. And then I also got a thing of cream cheese. This is just like a reduced fat version, um, which is usually what I get. And then I also got the chive and onion cream cheese. I thought this would be really good on those rice cakes as well. Some paper plates. I have four things of um, half gallons of 2% milk. This is what we use for Gunner. And I've told you guys before, we freeze our milk because it lasts longer. And then, I mean, we can easily go two weeks on just four half gallons, which is convenient and you don't have to run out to the grocery store in the middle of the night when you realize you don't have any or first thing in the morning and then spend like five dollars on a thing of milk at the gas station you know so it's just easier to do that and then here is the other apple juice and then i got some more ketchup because we go through ketchup like crazy i also got a pineapple gunner said he wanted some pineapple so i thought i would cut some up and then I got a mozzarella cheese log. This will be for the caprese salad. Three cucumbers. Okay, so these are the Simply Nature broccoli bites. I really like the spinach and kale ones. I didn't know that they had other flavors because I've never seen any other ones there, but they also have these and the sweet potato ones. But I really like these. I think they're a really good snack. Gunner won't try them, but I think he would like them if he did. Um, but they taste like potatoes to me, so they're really, really yummy. So I like to snack on these if I'm craving something a little like extra during the afternoon. I got a bunch of avocados, four to be exact. I have some sour cream. This will be good for the taco salad as well as like white chicken chili. Um, I can do quesadillas for Gunner with it. What, buddy? Okay. Um, some roasted red pepper hummus and then I got the this is the chicken sausage that I get this is the Italian one and it has oh this one doesn't say but there's like mozzarella cheese in these they're really good this is what I use for that chicken and shrimp sheet pan dinner and then I just got some oven roasted turkey I like getting the big old container of it because this is what I use just for my lettuce wraps or like quick little sandwiches when we need something fast to eat and then I also got two things of cereal. This is the honey crunch and oats. This is basically like honey bunches of oats, which I really like. And then Gunnar picked out the fruit rounds. I also got two things of paper towels. These are my favorite paper towels to get. And I like to have an oversupply of them. And then the last little bit that I got, um, I have a bag of shrimp. This is just the medium raw peeled shrimp. I used this in the sheet pan dinner and I thought this would be good for my burrito bowls that I'm gonna do. Um, if I just saute them up a little bit in some olive oil, some garlic, some lime juice. Um, sometimes I do those with meat and sometimes I don't. So, And then I got four things of turkey burger. I'll use this for the spaghetti um, and the taco salads. And then I also got two things of um, these ground beef patties. We'll use these for our burgers. We had these last week and they were so good, you guys. Like, normally we just make our burgers or we will um, get them through Omaha Steaks and these were way better than the Omaha Steak burgers. They were so juicy and flavorful. I mean, obviously like I season them and do all of that, but they were so good. And then the last couple of things that I got, um, I just got, I don't want to take it out of the bag, but I just got a big old thing of chicken breast. This was $5 off. It has that $5 off sticker on it. This is over six pounds. I think it's six and a half pounds. So I ended up getting this for $7. And all I'm going to do is just package it up and put it in the freezer. And then we just can use it whenever we need it. And then the very last thing that I got, I got two things of eggs. Um, we go through eggs like crazy. I eat eggs pretty much every single morning for breakfast. I love hard boiled eggs. Chris eats eggs all the time. So we do have some already out in the garage. So I just got a couple more to add to that. So I think 
that is everything. At Kroger, I spent $44.77. At Publix, I spent $14.67. And then at Aldi, I spent $134.20. So just under $200, which is really good for two weeks considering I feel like I got a lot of stuff. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you like this sort of content. I kind of do all sorts of motherhood and lifestyle videos here on my channel. Um, and I upload weekly, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Thank you guys so much for sharing in your time with me today. Um, leave any questions or comments down below that you may have. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.